Welcome back to a view to a grill. I'm Johnny. Today we're going to be using this Snake River Farms hamburger meat to create this simple, easy, delicious smash burger. Sometimes keeping it easy is best. The first thing we need to do is make our hamburger balls. On a scale, I'm going to weigh out two ounces of hamburger meat. In the palms of my hand, I'll just form a loosely packed hamburger ball. I'll get them all on a sheet pan and with Wagyu meat you don't want this sitting out in the counter. We need to put that in the refrigerator so they'll maintain their shape. To manage my smash burger patties today I'll be using the Lamson 4.625 by 6 hamburger turner. The hamburger turner has a beveled edge to make getting under that patty nice and easy and it also has a long stay cool walnut handle. If you'd like one of these Lamson hamburger turners for yourself, check out my link and discount code in the description. Now let's prepare our Golden's cast iron cooker. I'll start off by lighting a full small Weber chimney starter. In the Kamado, you'll notice that I've left the divider plate because we're still going to create a two zone cooking surface. The left side is going to be the hot zone and the right side is going to be the cool zone. When we see a little bit of ash form at the top of our chimney starter, that's our clue to get the lit charcoal into the Kamado. We'll move that around for even heat distribution. And then we can go ahead and get our sear plate down. And I like to wipe up any ash that may have gotten onto the sear plate. And now we'll just wait for our sear plate to get up to about 425 before we start smashing the burgers. While the sear plate is getting hot, we can make our rub. We're keeping it simple. All we're gonna need is some kosher salt, some fresh ground black pepper, and a bowl. I'll start off by pouring about a tablespoon and a half of kosher salt into my bowl. Next I'll use my man kitchen pepper cannon to grind some pepper and I'll pour that into my bowl with the salt. I'll mix it up thoroughly and when I was done I had a rub that looked like this. Smash burgers go fast so we'll get all of our ingredients together before we start. I'll be using the St. Pierre buns, some American cheese, the rub we made earlier, a piece of parchment paper, a towel, and my Lamson spatula. Now that we have everything together, let's make our smash burger. Our sear plate is about 413, 415 degrees, which isn't quite where I want it, but it's plenty hot enough for us to start toasting our hamburger buns. When your hamburger buns get to the toastiness you like, Go ahead and remove those from the grill. Our sear plate is at 424 degrees, close enough. So let's start smashing our patties. We'll just start by placing our meatballs on the sear plate far enough apart so they don't interfere with each other. Then just grab your parchment paper, put it on top of the meatball, put your spatula on top of that, and then use this towel to insulate your hand from the heat as you smash. As you're smashing, count to 10 and that will be long enough to get that fantastic sear on the bottom of your patty. We can give them a flip. Take a look at this color. This is why you do smash burgers. This is why they're so delicious. Once you have them flipped, go ahead and put on your cheese. Now that our cheese is melted, we're going to put these patties onto our brioche buns. Just stack one right on the other and then put the lid on your burger. And since we're just making a simple delicious burger, it's time to check our results. Now just take a look at this burger. The cheese is a little crispy on the edge and it is going to be delicious. Let me tell you, in every video, this is always my favorite part. It is the taste test. Let's take a bite and my goodness, keeping your smash burger simple yet delicious, you can turn these out one after another and your guests won't be waiting. And you know this is good all the way to the last bite. Now, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit it, do it. What are you waiting on? Thank you for watching A View to a Grill. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all.